Thank you so much. I have to say that I am delighted and honored to be part of this ceremony uh, with you. I'm delighted for you as the graduands. I'm delighted for your families. I'm delighted for your friends. And I am delighted for our church organization. You know, from my introduction, uh, you will know that I am not, um, I, I go to many award ceremonies as my role as pro-chancellor. Um, and I always say that award ceremonies never get old. Graduations never get old. They are always exciting and significant. And for me, being asked to address this particular one is very significant for me as a born and bred Adventist. Uh, this holds, this service holds a particular significance for me today, and I will tell you why. Uh, a few months ago, my father passed away, and we were very, very close. And there are moments that I miss him profoundly. As you're going along your daily task, it's the strange places where that space uh, is, is lost to you. And today is one of those moments. Because as a boy, there would have been no greater pleasure for my dad than for me to have gone to Newbold or to have gone to Andrews. Uh, it was a dream of his. Uh, and in fact, I remember uh, we had a singing group and we came down to Newbold for the weekend. And we stayed for the weekend. Uh, and I think that was my dad's hope that I would, that something would spark within me and that I would come. And I came with an open mind and, and some of you this will probably be past your, your, your younger, but some of you that will remember our own food brand, and we had Grano's food. Um, unfortunately, Nuttaline and Saviander did for me. And I realized I can't do four years of eating that. <laughs> and so a flourishing career at Newbold was thwarted by Grano's. <laughs> but what I will say to you is on that same weekend, uh, I also traveled with uh, Ian Sweeney and with Cyril Sweeney, and some of you will know. So it wasn't a total bust. You managed to get two, two, two former presidents uh, as part of that. So when I think about that and I'm standing before you now, I think that my dad would say, he didn't make it here, but he's doing the keynote. So life took me on a, a different journey. It took me in different places. I did everything from being a, a, an apprentice to a professor. And I think for me, that has been a fascinating part of life. Just the twists and turns that come along with our journeys in life. And I have had a wonderful career. You have uh, been told of some of the challenges that you face. And, I remember that when I took up the role of Director of Public Health, I was very much encouraged to take that role. I had no desire at the time to do that. I was quite happy being a consultant. And I thought, well, you know what? For a couple of years, I will do that. Now, my timing is awful. Because I did it, I started that role um, in 2018, started at the end of 2018, 2019, and then Julie had a pandemic to deal with. And anybody who followed that in any kind of detail, anybody locally who followed it at, in any detail, knows that Leicester were at the center of that pandemic. And I was at the center of Leicester. And so there was a huge amount of challenge. And I remember uh, doing a press conference, and I was doing this press conference live, and it was like one of those UN uh, debates. And I had microphones from all over the place. I was live on the BBC, live on Sky, interview from New York Times and Al Jazeera, and I was in this space. And sometimes when we're in those difficult places, when we're in those places of challenge, you wonder, how have I got here? And you may next wonder, how do I get out of here? And I remember being in that space and wondering with all of those directors of public health, all of those people, why me? Why me? And uh, during the course of that, 
I went through so many challenges, so many places. We created policies in Leicester that resulted in national rollouts and national policies, contact tracing, door-to-door -door testing. All of those things were piloted within my team. And I remember somebody saying to me who was not a Christian, when I was talking about my frustration about being the director of public health at this time, they said, and they were not a Christian, they said to me, Ivan, you were meant to be here for such a time as this. I thought to myself, you're quoting the Bible to me. You're quoting Esther. This, is the, this, this was the point. I want to say to you, in your careers, you may go through some very difficult and challenging times. Times that you are not expecting. Times that you don't want to be in. But the reality is, you have been called for such a time as this. And when I look back on my own career, that moment in COVID, that moment when I was at the epicenter, that moment where I wanted to exit the building is the most rewarding time of my entire career. And I want you to remember that in the things that you do. And so I go on now to face new challenges, as you are about to do now. I've recently decided to step down from my role as Director of Public Health, and I will be going into other roles. And they will come with their own challenges. I'll be moving more into an academic role, more an academic professorial role. Um, should I get through the interview next Wednesday? But that's, that's, that's the role where we're going to be heading. But as part of that process, I had to go through an application form. <clears throat> and I realized that I was going through this application form that I am different from maybe some of the others that will be, will be applying for this professor chair. Because I realized that many people will have very strong academic backgrounds. I said to you, I started as an apprentice. I worked my way. I've done all sorts of things, cleaning all sorts of things. And I realized that there were, I am different to that. But I also realized that being different doesn't mean being less. Being different means that you can bring different aspects. And I have had the opportunity to be involved with practical things. And when I started to fill out that application form, I filled it in with one thing in mind. Where are you making an impact? What is it that you have done that has made an impact on other people's lives. Not theoretical. And I, I stand here before you as an academic, as somebody who values academia. But academia without application is useless. We have to make a difference in this world in which we operate. So here's the strange thing about today. Today, you are almost feels like you are, at a, you are at an end. You are at an end of your studies. You are at an end of, I was going to talk about breakfast again, but I'm not going to talk about that. But you are at the end of a task that put before you. But a graduation is not about being at an end. A graduation is about being at a beginning. Today, you are at a beginning. Things are about to change, and you, along with God, will determine where that goes. So I have another exam question for you today. Just when you thought you were fed up of exam questions, I have another exam question for you today. And I want you to ask yourself, what are you going to do from today that is going to impact on others? What is it that you are going today that's going to impact on families? What is it you're going to do today that's going to impact on communities? What is it that you are going to do today that is going to impact on the world in which you live? The very nature of the degrees that you have taken mean Unlike other degrees, you have said, I will impact. So as you go away, and as you go through the things that you do today, the subjects that you study, the application that you've got, 
the knowledge that you have, which is incredibly important, the question is, how will you apply it? So today, I charge all of you, I charge all of us, to make an impact in the things that we do. I congratulate you. I am excited for you, not only for today, but for the things that you are going to do. Thank you.